Hey guys, so in this video we're just going to go over making the steering wheel for the vehicles. Um, we'll have to make an Anim BP for each vehicle, but it's we'll be able to copy and paste most of it. So I just organized my animation, my folders a bit more um, by making a custom animations folder, or I renamed retargeted anims, and I put the humans um, Anim BP poly person in the human folder in that. So we're going to go into that and make a new folder, call it vehicles, go in there, make a new animation blueprint. And we'll do we'll start with the police car, since that's the one we have set up to drive. And we'll call it an MBP police car. And we'll drag off this local component to local. And bone transform. And I forget what the name of the bone is, so we'll just go find that real quick. Steering wheel something, but all right, it's probably just steering wheel. I'm gonna look silly. Steering W. It's a good thing I checked. All right, so uh, we'll do bone. To, oh, you <laughs> select it. Okay, well. Uh, right, and we'll do rotation mode. Replace existing and uh, bone space. And. Do rotation, make rotator, and off yaw we'll do range, and we'll do map range clamped, and in range is negative one to one, and we'll do negative sixty to sixty, and off this we're gonna have to go to our event graph and get cast to base vehicle. We'll we'll do this the proper way, promote to variable. Vehicle pawn, and we'll do. Oh, sorry. Get is valid, and if it's not valid, we'll do this. And if it is valid, we'll just go on for it, and we'll do get get steering. Uh, I think we need to actually set that as a rear. I'm not sure if we can get. Well, maybe. No, we can't do that that way. Okay, that's fine. So we'll just go to our uh, blueprints, vehicles, base vehicle, and uh, we'll set a variable called steering. Make it an integer or float. Sorry, not an integer. Float. And we'll go to our uh, controllers, human controller, and we'll go to steering, and we'll set steering, and uh, we'll do that. That'll take care of that. So now we'll go back to our AnaBP police car, and we'll get steering, vote to variable steering. All right, go to our anim graph, get steering. Component pose, we need to state mission local to components, state scene. All right, compile, save. State idle. All right, and that should be good, I think. Nope. Nope, it is not good at all. Oh, right, because we never set the anim BP in the vehicle. So we'll go to edit police vehicle. Open it up. Go to the mesh, anim class, anim BP police car. No, don't crash in real. No! Send and restart. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's what you do, though. I swear that's what you do. Other than Unreal Crashing. Wait for Unreal to load up again. I'd cut this, but rendering it just takes, like, it adds exponentially more time. It's just sorry. Right. 
this restore everything. Back to mesh, and a BP police car. And we'll check our anims to make sure that it's still set up properly. Looks like it. So we'll uh, load our map up. All right, and it works, except it's a little uh, it's instant, which is not what we want exactly, but it's it's a step step up. So we'll go back to our anim BP, and we'll fix this up by what will we do here? So we'll get steering. We'll F interp two. We'll F interp to the steering from the pawn. Delta and speed 1.5 sounds good. All right, and uh, we'll zoom in, and there we go. Maybe a little slow, so we'll change that to 2.5. File save. All right, that's looking better. All right, so that's how you do steering wheels for this kit, anyway, which makes it pretty easy. All right, so in the next video, we'll, um, hmm, I'm not sure what we'll do in the next video. We'll figure it out. One thing I'm thinking about is making it so you can interact with the steering wheel with the touch controllers, but I'm not sure how well that'll work. I'll have to practice with it before I make a tutorial video on it. I think it could be interesting because doing like drive-bys while holding the steering wheel with your touch controllers in the other hand is just hilarious to me, but, uh, we'll see. Um, so yeah. Um, just to show you what we need to do to make it compatible. Oh, yeah, I should do that now, actually. I'll just show you how to do it for the other vehicles. So we'll uh, retarget. No, that, no maybe. No. Uh, we'll just duplicate. And in BP, sedan, car. I don't know if this is actually going to work, but you can just change the skeleton like that. Uh, I don't think you can. So we'll just. Uh, sorry. All right. So uh, yeah, we'll do it the right way. Sorry about that. I was trying to be lazy, but sometimes you can't. Sometimes you got to do it the hard way, which is still not that hard. We'll just go to our Polygon City meshes, vehicles. We'll start with the sedan. I won't do all of them. I'll just do the sedan. And ah, uh, oh, I always forget. <laughs> do it the right way when doing video. So right click animation, animation blueprint, sedan, and BP. Getting a bit tired too, so it's not helping. Alright, but for this we can copy this actually. Uh, we can copy this entirely I think. And it should be fine. We'll just create all these variables, file save, and now we'll go to the anim graph, control C, control V. We'll make sure that this is still selecting the right steering wheel, yeah. So that looks good. File save. So now just to make sure, we'll drag a sedan into the world. And we'll set its auto. Oh, whoops, I dragged the anim BP into the world and not the vehicle. Right, we also need to set the anim BP. Reminded me. Anim BP sedan, compile, save. And auto possess player is zero, save. Play. Now I can't zoom out again. Why can I not zoom out again? Oh well, steering wheel works. Is it because tick is? I don't know why it's. Oh, maybe it's because it's in the viewport? No. 
I bet you if I go back to it and add print string, it's going to work again. I restarted the editor too. That's strange. That is absolutely strange. Um. I don't know what can be causing that or like what to do about that. It's clearly a bug. Because it goes away after I've done that. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't go away. This is a strange bug. Adding print string fixes it. It's just a bit weird. Maybe we'll add a delay. I don't know if that will do anything, but... Well, it might have. We'll keep that delay and we'll see if that fixes it. Alright. Um, we're also going to make this auto-activate the third-person camera so that the first-person camera auto-activates just so it's more nice in VR. Probably want first-person rather than third-person. So that's taken care of. Alright, this video is getting getting long, taking care of that bug. So, sorry about that, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.